Sunday. S U N D A Y songwriting. A A D F P. Short and sweet. Yeah. Those are the only words I have for it. Did you just write that? No. Mm -hmm. That was so cute. Mm -hmm. It's an illusion. It's an illusion of delusion. It looks like it's tickling your eyeball and your right cheek. Ow. <laughs> Dang it. Hands. It's gonna reach out and grab me. It's like I lobster. I am. It's like a lobster. I am hot. Welcome to Sunday Songwriting, everybody. We are sitting here with Hello. Susanna and Steve. Hello. Please get closer if they want to be seen by all of you beautiful people out there. We were just chatting about Stevie Wonder. His song, Big Brother. He's got some really cool albums. Some cute little doggy over here. Call him up. It's like gonna be. You're over there. Yes, again. <laughs> you coming to hang? So we are gonna write a song. Yeah. Lots yeah, of cool no instruments here. Because it is Fat Tuesday or... Do you guys want to sing a really morbid song about how they stick ladies in factories and make Mardi Gras beads? Maybe. Sure. I don't... I hate to kill the fun, y'all. Maybe. But maybe we shouldn't celebrate with beads made with slave labor. Maybe not. Somebody came and put these on my head tonight. Right. Actually, actually, I have some cool Mardi Gras beads, but they were made by weird. my artist friend, so I know they weren't made by slave nice, labor. And, really? Yeah, I'll, I'll go get them and show you. Oh, oh. Get the real beads. Let's get the real beads. Let's get the real beads. I do have some. Oh. Let's get the real Be nice or leave. Those are real beads, compared to everything else in here. Dr. Bob and Dr. Bob. She's got some real Mardi Gras beads there. Mardi Gras beads. Made by Asian slaves. Yeah. Great. Did you see that documentary? Mm -mm. They were all excited. It was like work in America. Them to Guam, which was part of America, but it's. Yeah. And they set up them up in factories and they paid them $1.25 a day. When they entered the factory, they had to give up their ID. They weren't allowed to leave. Uh, but you were allowed to live no, in a leaf okay. shack. That's really bad. Very bad. That's why I don't wear Mardi Gras beads. Sorry, I'm not judging you for it. Uh, the kids grew up with industrial sounds in their ears. We grew up with farm sounds and nature sounds in our ears. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, yes. I think it's Fat Wimsy. Well, we need it's really Sunday, everybody. <laughs> Who's the star of the show now? Cola. Cola, what are you doing? Did you sign the release? Okay, thank you. Check this thing out. Change your name to Rosencrantz. Then it gets a little hard. Sit and dance. With all those ants in your pants. Alrighty, Daishway. Got a little piano. This will be the front. Nice. Hmm. You like that? Yeah. Pretty album. Maybe I start. Bonjour to the other girl. We have created another masterpiece. <laughs> it is called what? Bonjour? I think so. Yeah. Bonjour. Tout la avant-garde. Bonjour. Tout la avant-garde. Bonjour. Toute la avant-garde. Et 
Chocolate. Chante. Respecté. Bonjour. Écoutez. Chante, chante. Répète. Répète. Bonjour. <laughs> Revoir. Bonjour. <laughs> Later. Okay, take a break. Oh, snap. Now. Bonnie. Hello. Hello. So we're chilling. We're rehearsing tonight. Eating hydrated. Eating chocolate. Oh. And I'm tired of running from the stranger in the closet with the Cape open wide Vampire Vampire Go home Vampire 
We've been getting questions from you guys. We would love to answer them. Keep them coming. We love connecting with you. You're a rock star tonight with that. Right. I love it. Thank you. It's my new fashion of the week. <laughs> this is for Jenny. Oh. Did you ever travel to another country? I have. I was born in another country. I was born in Pyeongchang, South Korea. It's then probably my most recent trip was to Italy. Very cool, Jenny. Yeah. Thanks Great question. Sharing. Thank you. Thank you for the question. I didn't ask permission if I can use your name, so when you send the question, tell us if we can say your name, and then we will give you a shout out. We're protecting on Sunday the innocent. songwriting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got. Me. It's what's your favorite meal? Really hard question because there's so much food that I like. Think something now. I don't like it that. Mmm. Sounds good. Something that my mother made called Swedish meatballs. We actually made this like casserole thing which had onions and meatballs on the bottom and mixed veg mixed little uh, peas and carrots mm -hmm, and that sounds good she covered it with a homemade crust on fresh flour with dip. you could still make it with vegetarian meatballs and it's absolutely delicious both ways and aviva's mom is an excellent cook hey, also what's your favorite aatfp song oh my gosh there's so many but i know i have to give one i Aww. am in love with love unspoken and there is a new one that Aviva and the Flying Penguins plan to introduce on March 9th. We actually played it already on a Sunday song. Right? Spoken. If you haven't Me checked too. it out, please do. No, it's great. Thanks. So great I song. love dancing to it. It's very beautiful and quietly is up there with my favorites. Again? Hmm, I'm what's, getting a lot of questions. What's your favorite ice cream? Good thing you're here. I know. <laughs> my favorite ice cream. I gotta get, I'm a chocolate girl. <laughs> What do you think about that spaghetti meatball ice cream on your birthday? Oh, <laughs> yes, the penguins for my birthday. We went out to eat and they got a, it was a spaghetti ice cream dessert where everything, it looked like a bowl of spaghetti. That was new. Yeah. Very strange and new. You want one like right here? I was just going to do that to you. Oh, it's a new. I don't mm. know why we did that. Oh. Ooh, that looks sexy. Let me turn it. Mm -hmm. My camera has a mirror. It's kind of weird. Ow. Like Raggedy Andy. Very strange and new. As the penguin right now. There's no Andre here. It's just penguin. Can you answer this for Andre Penguin? Yes. I'm his spokesperson. Okay. This person, this unnamed person, wants to know who your favorite drummer is. Depends on the style. Dino Danelli from the Rascals. Because he's a real showman. He's the first drummer I saw on the big stage. You were Andre. That's what Andre said. Oh, oh you're channeling Andre. Yeah. You're speaking as though you are Andre. What a talented penguin, folks. Thank Love you. Love our penguin. Do you have any more questions for us? That's all we have right now. Keep them coming. I'm glad I got to be on a show this week. I thought you were going to ask me again. But I got to be on it, so that was very nice. And Why? Thank you very much. Why would you think I would do that? I know you're very busy, and that's the way show business goes. <laughs> See, would you have another temper tantrum? Yes, I would! Hug? That would be nice. You hug and I'll rub his chest. Yeah. He likes getting scratched on that's his chest. That's very nice. Yeah, I'm really a lucky guy. Joel, okay. that's very nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do penguins eat chocolate? Aww. Squeezing her with my thighs. See you next week! Sunday songwriting every Sunday! If we don't see you Saturday night, Carvana! That was yesterday. Oh! You're on the wrong day, Penguin! If, if we... Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming to our show Saturday night and for giving uh, Rising Up Thursday night some love. One billion. This is for you. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have created another masterpiece. Very strange and new. So beautiful, and I'm so glad that I'm here. Yes, I'm so glad that I'm here.